Now, race has never been far from the headlines this year, from the Black Lives Matter protests in the summer to the election of Kamala Harris as America's first black and Indian vice president. It's forced many people to take a closer look at their relationships. For many South Asians, dating black men or women has been a taboo, but now that too is changing. Nalini Sivathasan from BBC Asian Network has more. Just, just put something out there. It took Jonah and Swetha Batamzi 10 years to find another couple who looked like them. Now, through their platform Blindian Project, they're connecting with thousands of black and South Asian couples, not just in the UK, but all over the world. And one issue dominates. And one of the most asked questions is, um, how do I introduce my, my partner to my parents? The couple say anti-black racism in the Asian community can be influenced by colorism, the caste system, and pressure to please elders. It's a difficult time for families, but we need to balance that respect for our parents. Yeah, and I think it's especially important for our kids. I mean, our kids are four and six. They're, coming, they're growing up as the mixed um, race children, and we want them to be comfortable in their own skin. I think, as we all know, the reality of our relationships is that... The pair have started online workshops to help couples navigate couples these tricky introductions. Their parents about their black partner. I am sorry, I can't talk too loud because I'm at home with my whole family. Um, so I've been with my partner for two and a half years now, and I'm just so sick of living the double life now. Mixed race relationships are on the rise, but there's little data on black and Asian couples, which can often make them feel even more isolated. Online platforms like Blindian Project means that couples can connect and support each other. 28-year-old Sanya Salim okay, says Blindian okay, Project okay. helped her introduce her parents to Michael, the man she'd been dating for four years. I was just terrified, just so, so scared. I, it was hard for me to even look at my dad in the, in the eyes. Like I was looking down the whole time. And I remember one of the things that stuck with me is finding people in your family to be on your side. And I definitely did that. My brother was one of the first people in my family to meet Michael. The pair say recent events in the United States are starting to shift anti-black attitudes in the Asian community. All the police brutality that we've seen, it's definitely something I talk about with my parents. When uh, Kamala Harris won, and I'm telling my mom, you know, you know, she's she's Blindian, you know, she's she's like me and Michael, like that's gonna be like our kid. It's a time where couples would feel more comfortable, I believe, um, to 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 be known and, and be more visible in the public. Back in the UK, Jonah has noticed increased interest in his platform. You look at places like East Africa, um, yeah. Uganda, you look at places like the Caribbean, our communities have been Mixing coexisted from... together. So um, obviously we've been having relationships together for, for, for a long time. He hopes that by celebrating stories of black and Asian love now, race won't be an issue for the next generation.